stop number four on the World Surf League Championship Tour. We're at the Oi Rio Pro, presented by Corona. Kai Pugero along with Martin Potter, and we got a big matchup here. Yago Dora, the wild card, coming up against Gabe Medina, the crowd favorite. Here's the stats, and really interesting to see. Of course, less uh, scores to be averaged for Yago Dora because he's a wild card, but he is up on Gabe Medina when you look at the average heat score. As uh, we see Yago Dora drawing first blood here up against Gabe Medina. And we already heard some hoots and hollers for this kid. Racing down the line and goes for a big air reverse. Lands on the roof, but uh, does he manage to pull it off? Yes, he does. So scores dropping for Yago Dora's first wave. Not a huge one due to the fact that he got stuck on the lip just a little bit too long. Need to ride out of those things nice and quick. But look at the intent of what Yago Dora is going to do. He's going to fly above the lip. Gabriel Medina's got that kind of game as well. This is going to be a great matchup. We went on hold for an hour. We probably could have started, but we, we let it settle down a bit. And hopefully, you know, we keep pushing through and guys keep getting good scores. Well, there you go. Congrats on the heat win. Looks like you'll be coming up against Adriano de Souza. As we look to Yago Dora, winds up off the bottom, big snap off the top, throwing some fins and just gets caught, hung up. That's not going to count. During that interview, we saw Gabe Medina pick off a wave that was going to be a closeout. So that's a nothing score, just a half a point for Medina. And a fractional second score for Yago Dora. So, talented uh, with a great backup squad. But right now, Gabe Medina goes vert on his first turn, carves through a powerful second turn. And smooth through the cutback, winds up, layback snap on the oncoming section, a little extra bank to try spinning around. A lot of variety on that wave, Potts. Yeah, just smooth, clean surfing. You know, Medina just wants to get a score on the board. Catches this wave, a little bit of white water on the face of the wave, but nice opening maneuver. Now it starts to find that clean open face and unleashes a beautiful turn. Just puts that rail in the water, throws a spray up into the sky and then finishes nicely. So Gabriel Medina, I think he's on his way to a good score here. Goes for a little backside reverse and uh, incomplete. So a lot of damage done though through that wave. First turn clicked perfectly. I like the second turn just on that rail, holding that turn all the way around. And again, just bringing it through the inside. So Gabriel Medina, it's going to be a good score for him and uh, he's going to take the lead with that. And he does. Scores are in for Medina. It is a 6.67 lead and advantage to Medina. With a bit of confidence, Yago Dora up and running. Yago answering back. Nice hook off the top for Dora. Comes around, layback snap. Two turn combo. Beautiful second turn on this wave. We saw Joel Parkinson get a fairly chunky score with two maneuvers. Beautiful opening turn, pumping, getting that board moving, and then just hooks into that turn. Sort of a, a layback snap of sorts, but a great finishing manoeuvre from Iago. Right then, just hooking in. Look at a lot of spray too. This guy's sneaky powerful. Stands what six foot tall, so he's not a he's not a little guy, that's for sure. Very agile, and he's got a bag of tricks, second to none. And this number is in a 5.83 advantage back to young Iago Dora. He's going to take a whitewater roll in to the first wave of the set. Comes off the bottom. Nice little cut back. He needs more than that. Bangs off the top. Now he's on his way. Another snap from Medina. Floater finish. Sticks the landing. Right behind him, Yago Dora. Layback carve. Throw in the tail. Winds up off the bottom. Bangs the lip. Hammer time. Yago Dora answers back. Another great exchange that exchange Gabriel Medina a little bit of a white water roll in there critical takeoff now he gets to his feet just setting up that first turn now he starts to find a bit of vertical face jams it up into the lip almost lost it off the bottom another turn here the end section comes and Medina attacks that end section looking for a 416 I think he definitely got it right behind him Yago Dora is he going to improve his situation if he betters that 5.0 Increase the scoreline required from Gabriel Medina. Beautiful, critical finishing manoeuvre. So a couple of good scores, though, dropped on that last exchange between Gabriel Medina and Yago Dora. 
Yago got the advantage in that exchange, but due to Medina's backup wave of a 6.67, he's currently in the lead. A slender lead, that is. And Yago needing a 6.27 now. Coming up next, heat number three of this round number five. Shot from above. Now we go to the beach shot here of Gabe Medina winding through a couple of nice carves. Looking down the line, Medina bangs that oncoming section oh. and unable to pull that maneuver. So some opportunity for Yago Dora. Maybe just overpowering the section. Again, just that white water roll in that Medina's looking for. First turn, beautiful in the pocket maneuver. Throwing a lot of spray. Gabriel Medina brings this one through. So this is where he kind of was waiting, waiting. Okay, now I've got to answer it. And bang, you can see that board just sliding out from underneath his feet. Maybe didn't get as much of a, a resistance as he was expecting from that white water. And he goes down. So looking to improve on a 6.67. Medina speeding down the line, looking for a takeoff zone. And this one just does not offer up a ramp. He's not going to get the score, that's for sure. You can see him looking for it. He was looking for an air. You can see him racing down the line, waiting, waiting. That wave just did not offer him that opportunity. Here we go. Yago. Let's see what he's got. The whitewater chunk to get around. Nice arc through there. Back to the lip, throwing some fins, looking loose. Let's see what the closer brings. And. Little late to the lip, but rides out of it. Was that enough for the 6.27? Looking for a 6.27. Let's have a look. First maneuver, very important. Connects nicely. Straight into it again. Slides the tail, so some variety. Lost the fins there. So yeah, I'm, I mean, looking at it again, I think he's gonna get it, but only just. Good turn there from Yago. Almost lost it on the bottom turn, but then managed to regather. First turn, nice, straight into the next maneuver. So nice flow between those turns. And right there, almost lost it. So could have got a little higher off that lip towards the end. Kaipo, as it starts to trickle in, there it is. 6.7 for Dora, he turns the heat. Now Gabriel Medina trailing, needs a 7.11. Hold the press. This could be it for Medina. 20 seconds counting down, scratches into it. Let's see what he's got. Looking down the line for something big, goes to the air, lands it. Stomps the landing, points to the beach. Big, lofty, straight air. Door right behind him. He's gonna need something nuts just to ensure a victory. Dora goes to the air, full row, rides out of it, wow. Tell you what, Gabriel Medina though, what guts he had. He didn't just surf this wave, he went for it. Look at it, big solid wave for Medina, and a lofty air, critical landing. So Gabriel Medina, I reckon, got the score of the 7.11, and then Yago Dora just up in time, I think. So this wave will count for Yago. Races down the line, and a big air reverse lands on the roof, comes out nice and clean, and the crowd absolutely go wild. So, Yaga Dora, no grab, beautiful rotation, comes out nice and clean. There it is, 7.73 for Gabriel Medina. 7.73, now the need for Yago Dora, a 7.34. Scores dropping for Yago Dora, and it looks like it is gonna be enough. There it is. There it is, 8.17, Yago Dora on to the quarterfinals, the Cinderella story of the 20-year-old Brazilian Fanon continues here. What a finish, what a heat.